And look what I found in the mail yesterday. Don't you dare say you just like the other microphone I reviewed some time ago. It is not just intended to record with. This is a karaoke microphone. It was very cheap. It cost me 15 euros. I've got it with a gift card. Uh, with our 15 euros, so in the end it only cost me one euro. But let me have a look at it. Top of course, this is the microphone protector, and inside of it is the actual microphone itself. Of course, it's a pretty tiny one for what it has to do, but that's how it is. Let's put it back on. Very nice handle. Everything seems to be made out of metal, except for this little front and top and bottom pouch. The top end is the power button to turn it on. That the front volume control, media controls. Uh, this button we're going to look at later is for the microphone volume, and this is for the intensity of the echo. That's in here. Uh, at the bottom end. USB to plug in a low profile thumb drive I don't have, micro SD slot. Right there is the uh, record output, and there is the uh, 5 volt power input, and it came with this teeny tiny little cable. Why does everything seem to come with the cables included when really you only need one? But Anyway, the reason why this is there and this is an output is because this is a Bluetooth karaoke microphone. So this body is actually the speaker itself, uh, primarily. The point of it is that you only need this and a Bluetooth device, like an iPad, uh, to be able to sing karaoke, <laughs> which I really like. And I actually used to have a karaoke set with the separate mixing unit and separate microphones and of course a separate DVD player back in your old days. I don't have that to show to you. It was quite a bit of cabling and everything in its own power source. Uh, the TV of course was in there as well. And overall it was just a mess that didn't work. Uh, this was actually just all in one. All I needed this and getting a Bluetooth device. Uh, and I'm going to turn it on. I did notice that when I turn it on, it says that the Bluetooth device is ready to pair. It says that obnoxiously loudly. So uh, what I did also discover when I plug into from from thing into record A, it uh, shuts off the internal speaker. So I'm going to do that. When I turn it on. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. But we're just going to wait until it starts to flash. The Bluetooth okay, device is connected successfully. Well, that was literally how loud the speaker is. And of course, it's intended to be hold up like this. And this is how the echo, the echo sounds, sounds like. like. At full intensity and full volume, you could have called it just V, so. This is uh, with this intensity in the middle. And this is with the intensity entirely down, so you pretty much <laughs> no echo at all. And back up. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> now, right here is the microphone volume control, of course. And this button, when I hold it, <laughs> no, 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 Are we back to normal? Yes, uh, we really are back to normal, but... Now, 
Now, these buttons control the media device itself. So, assume you have a playlist of videos, uh, karaoke videos on your iPad, for example. You could just switch between all of these buttons and play and pause with this one. Uh, <laughs> I just had some music going on, but. Uh, <laughs> I would just turn it on to uh, connect to the iPad and I could already start seeing but uh, right here you could hook up some external speakers if you want to but let me tell you it's pretty awkward handling something like this so it's not actually usable for recording unlike what it claimed except maybe if you have an SD card this would allow you to record to that now I press this one more time, it said lying in, but where's the lying in? There is none. Uh, which is pretty weird. It does have some weight to it, but not very much. And uh, when it comes to the sound quality, it does sound okay of course when karaoke it's more about the singing itself and the quality of the sound, but it's not brilliant, but it's not terrible either. I really cannot uh, let you listen to that because, of course, you would be listening to it through your own uh, speaker. So let me turn it off again. Yep. And right here, you just charge it up. When it comes to these kind of cheap devices, again, I do not recommend you use any standard USB cabling that comes with it uh, because this is just way too short and it feels very cheap as well like the device itself no matter what you are buying just put any charging equipment you get in the bin unless uh, it is not with a USB port on the other end micro USB or type C uh, just put it in the bin this is just uh, for efficiency's sake because these things <laughs> <laughs> will break down very easily and uh, yeah that is that and so yeah so, uh, this is uh, the W858 wireless uh, microphone uh, in summary it is uh, very well made for its price especially and it works very well very well with uh, Bluetooth although why, despite its awkwardness, why not just make this a light input so I could use it with a DVD player or something like that? Uh, there are still quite a lot of karaoke DVDs on sale uh, nowadays, so uh, manufacturers make some microphone. I really wish they they were aware of those things and made this a line input but they didn't this is a record output for whatever reason why do you need oh, i know why uh it's uh could also be used to plug your headphones into it and have a silent karaoke something that's very hard to do with a fixed setup with a separate mixer and a separate speaker set but that is that see you next time bye I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.